Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Look, just look. How cool is that? We're currently set up at Cedron Creek on Lake Whitney. But we're done here. The weather's dreary. Our side is it's getting sticky, muddy. But we're gonna move. We're gonna head. You can hardly see it, but there's a shoreline on the other side of the lake. So we're gonna drive across the bridge from Cedron Creek to McCown Valley, another Corps of Engineer campground on Lake Whitney. So let's get on the road and go to McCown Valley. Cown Valley Park, Whitney Lake. Check this out. It's been raining off and on. We've been here a little while. Let's get a let's get a sight tour while we're between showers. Now this is a Corps of Engineer campground, so it's a little little a little different than state parks. We're in site zero, zero. That's what it said, zero, zero. I didn't, didn't know there was such a thing. It's an asphalt, long asphalt site, 30 and water. Now it looked, dis, the looks are deceiving. When we rolled in here, oh yeah, that's not gonna be too bad. That's pretty level, but man. It's as, it's as unlevel as the last one. I got all, I used all my blocks. Side to side, it runs downhill toward the table. But we've got these big, beautiful trees here in the back. Barbecue cooker, fire ring, concrete picnic table, and a roof over the picnic table, which is a good thing because it's raining. Now you can see the site runs downhill a little bit. It's just not much of a navigation issue, but boy, it was a, it was a booger bear getting getting the level thing figured out. And it's supposed to be raining like this the rest of the day, so. Won't be any scooter rides going on. We'll see what tomorrow brings. We're here for two nights. So I'm gonna hold off on doing any, not gonna do any video. I'm not gonna show you any stuff in the rain. We'll see if it clears up. Cellular, let's talk about cellular connection out here. It's crazy. One moment you'll have four or five bars and then the next it'll be gone and then it'll be back up to four or five bars and it fluctuates in the middle of your conversations while you're on the internet there are three towers nearby one in the town of Whitney one just northwest of town and one on the other side of the dam from here and I have not been able to successfully connect to any of them with the directional antenna. Mainly 
because the app on my phone is not connecting to the internet for whatever reason. I don't know. I've been working with it for about an hour. I'm about to give up. Anyway, so let me work on that a little bit, and we'll see if maybe I'll get a break in the weather. Stay tuned. More to come. McCown Valley. Whitney Lake. You got a mess of kids and they're driving you nuts. It's a rainy day or it's a hot sunny day and they've been in the RV just driving mama nuts. She can shoo them out down the way to this cool little play structure. That's where we're set up down that road there. Not seen too many Corps of Engineer campgrounds that had a play structure that had a, a sun canopy on it. I do find it odd that, that the, some parks, some Corps of Engineer campgrounds have got Wi-Fi and some don't. Why isn't that a universal thing? I mean, Mardwell Lake, both two, at least two of the three campgrounds there have Wi-Fi but none here at Whitney Lake. Why is that? Seems like there'd be a lot more demand here than there. I don't know. Let's go see some more stuff. McCown Valley Park. McCown Valley Park. Whitney Lake actually has screened shelters available for your pleasure. It's got the no see -em netting on there so that you will sleep good at night, provided it's not 100 plus degrees. But if it's raining, you can get out of the rain. There's actually four of them. And it looks like a new restroom facility. Let's go see some more stuff. Cowan Valley. It's the boat ramp in the rain. The lake's come down some since we arrived two days ago. McCown Valley has some very nice day use facilities. Except for today, when the wind is blowing out of the north and it's cold. There's actually a couple of places where you have picnic tables with covers that are right on the water's edge. One of those is back down here, but that's closed off because of the high water. All right, let's go see some more stuff. As a child, you're always on an adventure. Everything is an adventure when you're a child. What better way to have an adventure than to storm a giant castle? Check this out. I think this is the most impressive play structure I have seen in any of my campground park visits. This just really brings out the kid in you. And I, I think this is an ADA compliant. Uh, no, I was wrong. I thought that was going to be a ramp, but it's not. But still, it's not too difficult to get up here, but if, if a wheelchair is necessary, then this is out of bounds. I think I'm going to go back the other way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ah, the telescope, but it's 
The lens needs to be replaced. It's actually a kaleidoscope. Okay. Now that we've had fun, let's go see some more stuff. Well, as with a lot of Corps of Engineer parks, well, there's an equestrian camping loop. And this one's a really large equestrian camping loop, but it's laid out different than, than a lot of them that we've seen in that stables, there's two stable facilities, one at either end. There's not any paddocks at the campsites, but there are, I guess they're called halter rings. There's posts with rings for you to tie your equestrian companion. They are water and power sites. I noticed that there are several people camping in the equestrian loop here that don't have horses or trailers. So it may not be, it may be that unlike a lot of equestrian campsites that we see, they, you may not have to have a horse to camp in here, should you so desire. Just know there's no paved RV pad. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Not sure if you can see it, but right there, right there is a deer staring at us. I've seen several since we've been here. We are touring McCown Valley Park, Whitney Lake. Now they have the big equestrian camping loop that we just visited. This seems to be the group equestrian camping area. Stable in the back. Every side has water and power. And I think that's access to the trail system I don't know because I don't see any maps, but that field over there is identified as they use parking. All right, so now, now you know if you have a horse, this is a good place to come and camp. Let's go find some more stuff. Where am I? Oh, McCown Valley, Whitney Lake. So if you don't, if, if you want to get a good view of the bridge over Whitney Lake, you can do some tent camping. This is primitive with water. There's no electricity in these sites. But your water side, look at how close you are to the water. Let's go see some more stuff.
Whitney Lake. Can you hear the echo? McCown Valley has got a fantastic group pavilion, covered group pavilion with what a lake view is that? How cool is that? Can't you just see yourself having your family reunion with that view in the background? Posturing for the camera. Available available for your group party pleasure. All right, let's go find something else. McCown Valley Park, Whitney Lake. Now, on my on my tours, I typically don't get too much into the dump stations, but but when there's something that you need to know, uh, I want you to know. Here at McCown Valley. The dump station, now you can't tell because I've got the max lens on and the horizontal leveling function keeps it keeps you straight. But this slopes that way, away from where you're going to be dumping your tanks. So just know that you might not get your tanks completely empty without raising one side of your RV. Well, we're done here. Where are we? McCown Valley, Whitney Lake. We have come to the end of our visit. Hasn't been just a real exciting visit because the weather was just horribly nasty, crappy, cold, and wet. But it was a good visit so that I could show you what this beautiful park has to offer. It just this is such a beautiful place. You got to come out here and check out McCown Valley, Whitney Lake. But we're 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 done here. If this is your first visit, thank you so much. I sure appreciate you stopping along. And if you're still with me at this point, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And for those of you who have been following along, and y'all y'all are why I do what I do. Y'all are why I get to go here. How cool is that? Thank you so much. I am so deeply honored that you're following along. And for my patrons, I would give you the salute, but I don't have the hat on. So thank you very much. You guys rock. Y'all come back now, you hear?